Hey, what's going on guys? It's your boy Toasty and today we are back with another Final Fantasy Brave Exodus video and today guys we're gonna cover the news and I gotta say big news big big news today so you guys stay tuned for that but number one let's go right here so in case you guys didn't see this basically this is the still castle Melfica they're gonna bring it back so basically uh, from the end of maintenance on Thursday the 20th all the way up to Wednesday the 26th now something I wish they would have done just to make it compensate a little bit more it would have been cool if they would have put it for let's say two weeks or even ten days but nonetheless guys Still Castle Melfica is coming back and hopefully it's gonna come with a big fix so like I said Thursday after maintenance on the 20th you will be able to uh, enhance your equipment and uh, really cool because the sword you guys will see why the sword is gonna be important number two the for the forgotten capital exploration for the final fantasy 7 event basically it's going to start on friday the 21st genova life you will be able to fight this little good looking monster right here uh so basically genova life here's what uh the kupo has to say for us is weak against earth and its defense and spirit can be reduced kupo genova life can cast water magic and reduce your water resistance kupo Beware, as Genova Life will counter if magical damage is taken. Kupo. So basically, stuff that you can get right here. Initial completion reward, uh, you get a 5% Moogle. Uh, the other one, complete the quest, you get Princess Guard, FF7. It's a staff, attack 22, magic 26, spirit 94, and HP 10%. So that thing is actually really, really good. Especially if you're a newcomer to the game, do this. This is going to be really good. And even if you're an older player, uh, you know what? And you don't have those big TMRs. Well, this thing is actually really, really nice. No green magic. You're going to get 10,000 B coupons. Uh, deal earth damage three times or more to an enemy. Light resistance plus 20%. Make sure you grab this because this, this can always be useful in any certain fight. Party of five or less. A 5% Moogle. And you know what? I'm starting to like those. Basically because the power creep is real and uh, those uh, 7 star units make it that 5 units can technically take on the boss nice and easily. Uh, Katesit, Aerith, Red 13 and Barret, they're always there. Uh, but Aerith is always in my heart. Still no Aerith for me though, but doesn't matter, we're gonna keep going. Next news, now this is the big one, the Man of Beast. so finally guys... Secret of Mana is coming back. Raid event, the Mana Beast. Collect ev event points to obtain completion rewards. Look at this big monster. So you guys, if you're a big fan of Secret of Mana, guess what? It's coming back and Randy is finally getting his 7 star Awakening. And uh, there, they, they showed him some love. They showed him some love. So as always, you're going to fight uh, the raid boss. You're going to be able to get those coins and then summon for stuff. Uh, the equipment is actually not that bad. The uh, Fairy Cloak, it's an accessory, Defense 25, Spirit 25, Boost Fire, Water, Wind and Earth Resistance by 20%. That thing is actually really, really nice. Uh, big percentage right here, so that thing is pretty good for a Magic Cover Tank. The Flower Suit, Females Only, Defense 15, Spirit 15, Boost Resistance to Poison and Sleep by 50%, whatever, this year. But this one right here, Effusive Fragrance, Boost Resistance to Charm. Uh, is it 100%? We don't know. But still, nonetheless, if you guys always, if you're a newer player, grab these things because these things are actually really good. Especially the Fairy Cloak. Doesn't matter if you're a new player, older player, grab this because this thing is amazing right here. Then, Magical Armor, Defense 30, Spirit 20, Boost Fire, Water, Wind and Earth Resistance by 10%. Another nice thing right here. And uh, Frosty Ring, an accessory, Defense 8, Spirit 14, Boost Ice Resistance by 20%. So make sure you guys grab that. Uh, whenever you get resistance on element, always good to have. It's always some good stuff. Now the cool thing is, one of the new rewards you're going to be able to get in the raid summon. Uh, basically the more points you collect, there's like a nice big uh, chart of stuff that you can get for every, let's say, 1000 points, 2000 points. Well now you're going to be able to get a 5 star select summon ticket, which is great. So make sure you guys do the raid, get that ticket. And uh, yeah, because these things, these little bad boys are really important for you to get the units that you want and stuff that you're going to be able to get. Little, this rabbit right here, new ally, 
Uh, his Trust Master is actually not that bad. Boost HP by 10% and Light Resistance by 15%. So if ever you're fighting a boss that does Light Elemental damage in the future, well, make sure you grab some of that TMR because this thing could be really, really nice, especially with the HP up. That's really, really good. And uh, always those four star tickets. They're always good. They're always hard to get, but it doesn't matter because uh, you know what? Randy's getting his seven star. So if you guys have two Randy's, three Randy's, well, guess what? Now is your time to make him a seven star. But he's not coming alone. He's coming. He's coming with Flammy, uh, Flammy or Flammy. I like to call him Flammy because you know what? Why not? Randy right here, Prim and Popoy. Uh, Popoy, I do not miss you, but Randy. Maybe I'll try to summon for you because I never got my hands on you. So basically the first step up, it's 3000 Lapis. You do a 5 plus 1 with those 5 guaranteed uh, maxed out Cactuars, which is really, really nice. Uh, the step 2, 4000 Lapis, you get a 7 plus 1 with a ticket and a guaranteed gold. Step 3, 5000 Lapis, you do a 10 plus 1, guaranteed rainbow. Step 4, 4000, so we're going down. 4000, a 10 plus 1, guaranteed uh, gold, a 10% Moogle. A limited ticket and the last step you get 5000 lapis 10 plus 1 and you're guaranteed either flammy or randy which is really really nice so basically this one is for a grand total of 18 21,000 21,000 lapis not that bad so if you guys have plenty of lapis and you're a big fan of secret of mana go for that step up right here so let's see flammy what do you have to offer right here so whoa whoa this is going really fast uh, or super trust, a uh, super trust master, or the super trust master, is soaring legendary dragon. Boost attack by 60%. Boost physical damage against beast fairies and reapers. If this thing is 50%, it's really, really good. And if it's 75%, it's even better. Uh, hopefully, this is going to be 75% since it's a limited time unit. So, uh, super trust master, really, really good right here. The trust master is also really, really good. Fly me drum. Uh, it's an accessory attack 50 HP and MP 20% so you put that on your physical attackers uh, and you basically get them a lot more survive survive survivability so basically they're gonna survive longer and basically they're gonna have more MP featured abilities so basically these things got all global upgrade love featured abilities number one sky protector every five turns boost magic spirit light resistance and lightning resistance for all allies and add light element to own physical attack white dragons roar uh, every second turn reduce wind and light resistance for all enemies leap into the air then attack one enemy next turn when activated Ooh, so it's a nice big jump ability right here ah, i wonder what the percentage is right here uh, bodyguard boost attack and defense and resistance to reductions to attack and defense for all allies reduces physical damage taken for allies for three turns and fill evocation gauge oh that's actually really really nice this is really really nice i want to see the percentage right here and uh, the fact that you get an attack and defense spirit break uh reduction that's really really nice also then randy randy got some love guys global upgrade super trust master a secret of mana boost attack by 60 percent hp and mp by 15 percent which is also really really good parameters when setting a nesper by 30 percent that's crazy good and attack by 20 percent when equipped with a sword uh so you can get a lot of extra damage with this super trust master so you have if you guys were lucky in the past and pulled plenty of him well guess what Get that Super Trust Master, because this thing is really, really nice right here. And this Trust Master ability, uh, if I'm not mistaken, it probably got stronger. It's basically a blade, the Mana Blade. Attack 140. Uh, I need to check, but I'm pretty sure the stats on the sword were a little bit weaker. But Attack 140 for a sword, really, really nice. Featured abilities, Power of Gnome. Deal Earth damage to one enemy, add Earth Element to own physical attack and boost earth resistance for all eyes so pretty cool uh he's going to be able to boost your resistance as he's doing damage power of the sylphid deal lightning damage to one enemy add lightning element to own physical attack and boost lightning resistance for all allies so again that's really really nice and uh, five stages frenzy every six turn you can use that damage and reduce attack defense magic and spirit for one enemy uh it's probably going to be around 74 percent a little bit like uh 2b is so not that bad randy you got some love, boy. You got some love. And I uh, can't wait to see those Randy friends in my friends list. Because he's looking pretty, pretty good. 
Uh, and uh, all right, Prim, uh, def uh, Deep Thoughts, Trustmaster, MP 30%, Magic and Spirit 10%. Not that crazy good, but since, like I said, you guys, if you're newer players, because uh, you're going to be probably going to be able to get the um, Trust Moogles in uh, the Raid Summons. Well, guess what? Feed that into these characters. Get those trust uh, get those trust masters because they're they can always be good. And uh, fairy wisdom is actually not that bad if you guys don't have a lot of magic uh, abilities that can power up your abilities. Well, magic twenty five percent is not that bad also. So make sure you grab those if you don't have those. So, woo! Are you guys excited? Secret of mana is finally coming out after so damn long. Let me know down below if you guys are excited for Randy's 7 star. Uh, is that the one? Yeah, so basically they're going to introduce a, a new 10 plus 1 ticket. I think this one you're going to be able to buy it. Uh, yeah, you're going to be able to buy it. To be honest, this one I find it really poopy because Dark Knight Lunit, Ariana, and Emperor Shira. Whatever. Uh, for me personally, don't spend your money on this because the chances of you getting one of those, the exact unit that you want is really, really tiny. So... You don't need to do this. Then collection of mana, limited time exchange. So as you're doing the um, the step up summon, you're gonna be able to get a ticket on step three, four, and five. Basically, once you have five of these tickets, you can exchange them for the unit that you want. So let's say you do the step up two times. Well, you're gonna have six of those tickets. Let's say on the last step, you get Randy and Flamin. Uh, Flammy, well, guess what? You're gonna be able to choose with those six tickets. You're gonna use five of them, and you're gonna choose the one you want here which is pretty cool since they're a time limited unit so that's one good thing they're doing in the game for this and the last one unit featuring uh, featured for a seven star unit is right here the boy the legend randy so if you guys have plenty of him like i said before make him a seven star his trust master is actually really really good and his super trust master is actually that much better Woo! so small news but still not a lot of news but still big news should i say uh randy finally getting a seven star after what almost two years that's crazy i remember when the guy first came out but now uh you're getting you're getting some love randy you're getting some global love so let me know down below guys in the comment section if you're excited for randy seven star if you are gonna pull for him if you're a big fan of secret of mana uh please subscribe for more if you guys want to support me on Patreon, feel free to do so. The link's going to be down below in the description. And hit that little bell to get notified whenever I upload a video. And on this note, guys, I hope you have a nice day. I'll catch you guys on the next one. Peace.